Hello, my peoples. Must be the day. Must be the day. Is there a full moon coming? Or is there a full moon out? Because it is that, it, 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 I'm, I'm beginning to realize it's that kind of a day. I started to do lips of the day. I showed you the lips. I showed you the liner. I even gave you a swatch. And then it just decided to stop. It just is going in accordance to the way this day has gone. Okay, um, let's start all over again. Let me start with the lip liner. It is a MAC lip liner in current, current, lined. And the lipstick, here it is, is the second of the Tarte, you know, that little Tarte collection that I got. And this one is in the shade Jet Set. And this is what little mini Jet Set looks like. That's what Jet Set looks like. And that's what Jet Set looks like. Very nice indeed. These are a little drying, but not crazy crazy. Okay, so that again is lips of the day. Now, what I was saying is I don't know if it's worth sitting down or not because I'm not going to go into into all the details. Yes, I still have a job. No, I'm not fired. But it, it, it really got that close. I'm just going to put it this way. If the devil has a wife who's just as evil as he is, then I think I'm working with her. And it's my supervisor. She showed me a side of her today that I would have never thought would be part of her makeup. That's one. That's all I'm going to say on that. Two, if any of you have seen the movie Get Out, you know when the lead character sits in the chair and he's trapped and his eyes get wide and he starts to cry because he's freaking afraid? That was me tears and all, frightened as hell. Not because I thought I was going to get fired, which up to a certain point, I really thought that that's where she was going. But I felt trapped and I felt, what is the word I'm looking for? not disrespected so much but completely and utterly misunderstood this woman has a picture of me in her mind I don't know what it is I don't know where she got it from but in all of my years of being a receptionist, I honest to God don't think I've ever disrespected someone. And when you are called into the carpet, which is what happened, And you want to try to have a conversation. A conversation is two people speaking. And when you see that there's a pause in the in the in the in the conversation or in, in what this person is saying, and you want to interject, and that person tells you, Don't you dare interrupt me. Just like that. All I did, and I think it was just a it was just a, a reflex reaction. All I did was my eyes must have bugged out 
And all I said was, wow. like that. And she freaked the fuck out. I really should have, if she really wanted to fire me, she could have done it right then and there. She's talking about how I'm talking to people on the phone, I'm being recorded, and I've got the camera on me, and all of this. I've never cursed anybody out. I've listened to all the complaints. I've spoken in a way where I don't want the person that I'm talking to to disrespect me. So maybe I have a little edge in my voice every so often. Not every call. But I would think she'd be actually proud of that. It shows that the receptionist can handle the conversation, can handle the call. Oh, oh no. No, no. So without getting into too much detail, uh, when all was said and done, oh, and there was somebody else who was brought into the conversation as well. And I think she comes from the movie Get Out, too. If you all have seen the movie, remember the woman in the window? And she's going, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. I think that's the other one. But my supervisor and her work together. I honestly thought that she would be a partial bystander because my supervisor brought her into the conversation. And apparently she's in accordance with my supervisor. Everything my supervisor thinks that's wrong with me, she thinks that's wrong with me. I barely, if ever, deal with that woman. So what is she disagreeing about? What is she disapproving about? If my supervisor tells her to jump, she will ask how high. So I kind of got that. Okay. So now I think I know where I stand. I think I do. But when I tell you I am frightened, Uh, I think I'm going to send out my resume again. Because what I experienced when I walked out of there and the girl who was covering for me, she looked at my face like, because I was crying. She said, what happened? I said, I can't stay here. I can't stay here. I said, I I'll get it together. Don't worry. She said, it'll be all right. I said, mm -hmm. And then she stood at the door before she was leaving and she looked at me and I said to her, did you ever see the movie Get Out? And she went, mm-hmm. I said, okay. And I just, and I, just, I was in auxiliary mode from then on. And this started in the morning. I don't, I'm not going to get into the details. I want to, but at the same time, I'm not going to. It's too long, it's too lengthy, it's too ridiculous. But I thought that I had the confidence or the confidence. When somebody takes you into their confidence, is that the word I'm looking for? When I, I just thought I had a different relationship with my supervisor uh, than I thought I did. And apparently that's not the case. So, okay. I now know where I stand with her. When I tell you I am going to do my damnedest to never ever have to talk to this woman and have her want to talk to me about anything other than maybe do this, do that. And that goes for the other one, too. The other one is a little bit more reasonable. 
my supervisor is the devil's wife. I don't think I've ever seen evil. I think I experienced it today. That's really all I'm going to say about today. Other than the fact that there was, I guess, a little cake party for, remember I told you the, 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 the guy who has Cutie's job? Yeah, there was a little birthday celebration, I guess, of sorts. There was an email that was sent out to everybody uh, at 3.50, please all meet in the kitchen. Now, I'm so fucking frightened that I don't know if that includes me, if that doesn't include me. So I opened the back door. I closed up my phone and I opened the back door and I looked to see if everybody had gone into the kitchen and there were still people sitting in their desk doing work including my supervisor who was still sitting at her desk. I said, oh, okay. I went right back to my desk. I turned back on my phone and that was the end of that. Nobody came in to say, hey, Nancy, why don't you just, no, nobody came in to say that. So I said, oh, okay. I know where I stand with this situation. It's another, it's another one of everybody gets to celebrate except certain people, I guess. And I'm one of the certain people. Not a problem. Not a problem because I don't want to celebrate it with these people. Okay? So I sat back down. Cake was actually brought to me. A little sliver of cake. But you know when you are so disgusted and so you just feel some sort of way. I ate the cake. Don't ask me what flavor it was. Don't ask me if it tasted good, if it tasted bad, if it was poisoned. I don't know. I ate it like a robot and I moved on because now I have to be aware that my voice is being recorded on the phone. I've got a camera above me that records every movement I make. So Forget, think about getting paid every Friday, Nancy. Is it worth it? I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to answer that question. The jury is still out. In the meantime, Friday comes in two days. Sweet Jesus in heaven, let me at least last those two days. I, I really can't say anymore. I can't say anymore. Just every time you see the movie Get Out or you see a poster of the guy's face in utter fear with his eyes watering, think of me because that was me today. Okay? Maybe it's a multiple personality thing that she she's going through. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe the tension of her position is getting to her in some sort of way. I don't know. I, I, I honest to God, do not know. All I do know is when somebody says they're walking on eggshells, I'm walking on something even more fragile than eggshells. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But I'm walking on that. Because eggshells are stronger than what I'm walking on. Water. I'm walking on water. I wish I could walk on water. Um, there's only one person, spirit, God, that I know that walked on water. I've got to go now because I think I'll be in this kind of state all night. Thank God it's not my birthday. At least, you know, by tomorrow, I pray to Jesus 
that I'll be over it. But now I'm in such a state and fear of this job. Nobody should have to go to work like that. Nobody should have to go to work feeling absolutely terrified. And I'm not talking about terrified like a gun is going to be put to your head or anything. I'm talking about terror, terror in the sense that you do not know what is waiting for you at the other side of that door when you open it and you go in to do your job. You don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. Because the woman that interviewed me and spoke to me on the phone and kept telling me that, oh yeah, you know, you're the person for right for the position and, and I, I like the sound of your voice and all of this. I'm telling you, that's not the same woman. That's my supervisor. Maybe she's got a twin. But the one that battered, beat me, and bruised me today with her words is not that same woman that I had the interview with. No. So I've got to go now. Uh, I'm done. I have nothing else to say. Uh, tomorrow you will not see me because tomorrow is Cousins movie, Jurassic Park. Yes, Jurassic World, I should say. So I'm going to try to be thinking about that. Hopefully that'll uplift my spirits and I'll be in a much better place tomorrow. Because all I have to do is just get through the day. So just get through the day. And then after work, fun. That's all. Okay. I know I've left you all kind of confused and, and befuddled because I'm not going into the specifics of it. Trust and believe. Mm -hmm. Just know that there is evil out in the land. I don't think I was meant for this world. I really don't. I honest to God really don't think that today's world Not for me. Not for me. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving you with that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you on Friday. Okay, I will talk to you on Friday, not tomorrow. I'll talk to you on Friday. I love you. Bye now.